So you are back on tour. We're very excited to have you here. Tell us, you have a show coming up on the 11th. With a little sneak preview. What are you going to be tackling this time around? Well, the show on the 11th is going to be what we call rock and roll, right? It's going to be me and Mo Amer co-headlining at the Etihad Arena uh, in Abu Dhabi. And we have uh, two local openers as well. And it's just going to be a huge show. You know, Mo has been obviously doing great all around the world. I am so happy to be back on tour again after two years of COVID. Where have you been? Um, so it's nice to be back. And I'm talking about, you know, a lot of stuff. I'm talking about the world. I'm talking about my kids. I'm talking about uh, America. You, have, you name it, I got. And we do crowd work. And so that also adds to the night. And I just think it's going to be a fun night of laughter and, and getting together and just celebrating life. As a comedian, your role has changed and evolved quite a bit over you know, the last couple of decades. And I think you've sort of taken on this responsibility to shed light on more serious subjects. How did that shift occur for you? Was that a, a sense of responsibility or? Sometimes people will say, uh, you're a comedian, you shouldn't do that. Shut up and Shut up and tell jokes. And I say, well then, okay, you're an accountant, then shut up and account. Like who's, who's got the right to say something? And so if I have the platform, I'm gonna step up and do that. Your first role as a comedian is to be funny. People came to see you make them laugh. So it's not that they're there to hear your speech about uh, the climate. But if you are skilled enough to get your point across seriously and then have a punchline, now you've won. And so I think in my mind, I, I say you live and die by the laughs. What's left on your comedy bucket list? Well, one of the big things I've wanted to do is to have my own show, uh, meaning like a sitcom of some sort. So I have definitely pitched and tried and just it's never gone on air. So I would love to have a show um, that's kind of based around my comedy. You know, one of the things I talk about is that I'm a pleaser. Like I always say yes. And um, it's an interesting thing to look into because I think from our cultures we're taught um, from a young age, you know, always help people, always be there for people. So there's times when I'm at home and, I, and I'm sitting there with my wife and kids and I go, guys, I gotta go. And my wife goes, where are you going? I go, I gotta go, I'm, I'm officiating someone's wedding. And she goes, what? And I go, yeah, they asked me. She goes, who? The guy was on Instagram. He said, do I mind? I said, sure. She goes, are they paying you? I go, no, the guy, he was not. And she goes, what is wrong with you? I go, I gotta officiate a wedding. So I've actually done that. And, um, and so I wanna do a show about a guy who can't say no. And, uh, and I just wanna have fun with it. That's, my, that's one on my bucket list. That sounds like you're a pretty awesome yes man. I wish you the best of luck with all that. Thank you, Dean, I appreciate you. And I hope people come out uh, on uh, the 11th over there in Etihad Arena. It's gonna be a fun night. Hi everybody, this is Maz Jobrani and you are watching DXB today. <laughs>